snow we got last night is that not beautiful good day to be out in the shop so I thought I'd show you some quick little tips and tricks with cable ties so stay tuned the first thing I want to show you is not necessarily uh, uh, wire tie related specifically but it's a great way to organize wires and route wires I take just a regular 16 penny nail and bend it in a J hook like that. I like to use a brake line bender like this. It gives you a nice uniform bend every time. And so you bend a J hook like that. And I can trim that down with the, uh, trim the excess off with a cutoff wheel. And the head of this gives a nice flat spot i can use the welder tack that to the firewall and it gives you a good place to route wires and secure them up under the dash of oscar here you can see where i've attached one to the firewall and uh, as you're building your wiring harness you can just lace your wires through that it keeps them in place as you're building your wiring harness and when you get finished you can just uh, take your zip ties tie everything together in a neat bundle and if you ever need to work on it you can just set it up out of that hook uh, work on your wiring harness and then put it back when you're finished keeps everything tucked up nice and neat under your dashboard if you're working on a painted car and don't want to do any welding check out these devices from mag daddy this is in the speedway catalog I'm sure you can also get those from Summit or Jegs or any good hot rod supply. Uh, number five right here is what they refer to as the Zip Daddy. And it is a great alternative to those little foam sticky back things that you use to anchor your wiring harness with. And uh, it's just got a loop there. You can put it on the firewall, uh, attach your wiring harness to it with a zip tie and you don't have to worry about messing your paint up. Sunday when I shot the intro to this video, we had five or six inches of snow. Yesterday, it was nearly 60 degrees. Today, it's been raining like a cow pen on a flat rock. But it's slacked off a little bit now, so I'm gonna head on out to the shop, show you some more tips and tricks with zip ties. Next thing I want to show you is the proper way to open a bag of zip ties. Did you know there's a right way to do that? I didn't either until an old telephone guy showed me this trick. You know, most guys just cut the end off, reach in there and get their zip ties out, throw them in their toolbox or tool bag, and they go all over the place. Here's a little trick to open it. Make a slit right across the middle. You can reach in there, get your wire ties and then they don't fall out. Pretty cool, huh? Here's a cool little trick I use often. In fact, I used it on old Oscar here when I was running the tail light wires. Let's say you've got a broad piece of metal here and you're needing to run some wire through there. Uh, there's nothing convenient to tie it to but there's always extra holes in frames, it seems like, from the factory. So here's a little tip to attach that bundle of wire to that frame. Locate a hole like that, and it needs to be smaller than the head of the um, wire tie. Or you need to use a, a big enough wire tie that it won't fall through that hole. You go to the back side, stick that cable tie through like that wrap wrap it around your wire back through the hole now on the back side you've got something like this so just take the tail of that wire tie feed it through the 
through there like that. Pull it tight. Cut the head, cut the tail off like that. And you're left with something like this. When you're trimming your zip ties, don't be, don't be one of those guys that clips it off up here close and leaves a sharp edge right there, like that. I've seen guys run their hands across that in a tight spot and get a cut deep enough they had to go to the hospital to get stitches. These leave a very sharp edge. So they make a special uh, cutters that will cut that off flush so there's no sharp edge. You can use a utility knife, cut away from yourself, and get that flushed up. I've seen guys cut them close and then take a soldering iron to the edge of them, and that, that dulls it. But I highly recommend that you get one of these tools right here. This is a Panduit GS2B tensioner, and what this is for is to put uh, a set amount of tension on your wire tie, and it also cuts it off at the same time. It's got adjustment right here, so you can adjust it for different tension right there. And there's uh, other companies that makes these. You can pick them up on eBay, Amazon, on the internet, or uh, a good uh, electrical supply store generally carries those. When I'm building a wire and harness, I usually leave the wire ties a little loose, snug them up just enough to keep them in place, but loose enough that you can move the wires around if you need to. Uh, leave the tails long. When I get done with the wire and harness, get the handy dandy tensioner there, and that's all there is to it. Last but certainly not least, I'm taking you under the hood of Oscar here for my favorite zip tie trick. You'll have to pardon the dust and, and dirt here, but I build these trucks to drive and that's exactly what I do. So this is my favorite zip tie trick. And since I learned this, I've never bought another wire loom for spark plug wires. You just start out with one wire tie around all four of your spark plugs. You add, you add one in between each spark plug wire and around the first zip tie that you put on. And you start tightening those up a little at a time until you get them all even. And then you just snip the tails off of them and you've got a nice clean wire loom for just a few Abe Lincolns. I hope you like this tech tip and the content on the channel. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe. While you're at it, hit the notification bell. And until next time, you know why I'm gonna say it. Wait for it. Y'all get out there and build something.